All right, guys. Gary, thank you. Oh, oh, Andrew, you know what? Before you go, I just wanted a, a quick word from you, if you're if you're able to or if you're in the mood for it. Um, uh, Christopher Hitchens passed away today, uh, like hours ago. And uh, I know that you uh, were uh, a great admirer of his work. I wonder if you have a few words about him or if it's too soon. Uh, well, I, I would say that Hitchens and uh, Camille Paglia and I, I, I think I told this to Hitchens once, not that he wanted to hear, but Hitchens and Talia transformed me. Like they, they're, they were the ones that that caused me to think twice about liberalism, or at least to think outside of the box, and to make me realize with the the the, the words that they were taught using, the ideas that they were. Uh, uh, contemplating were so much deeper than what I got in college that the insecurity that they that they spawned in me caused me to go on a self-searching uh, journey <laughs> that has brought me to wherever I am. I mean, I can't think of anybody uh, more influential in in terms of my intellectual curiosity than uh, than than Camille Paglia. And and Christopher Hitchens. Wow, that's and, uh, that's... and I he, he intimidated the living daylights out of me. <laughs> um, I wouldn't have debated him. I mean, I love going up against anyone, and I would never go up against him. Uh, I do. I do. I must say though, uh, in 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 his last years, as he was putting the exclamation park on his atheism, uh, I loved I loved his arguments. But I was always pulling for uh, Dinesh D'Souza in those, in those, and I, I hope Dinesh D'Souza uh, is correct that there is a heaven because uh, I, I'd like to think Christopher Hitchens is there because yeah. he was uh, just an intellectually honest human being in an era when uh, intellectual honesty is not uh, heralded to the degree it should. Amen to that. Rest in peace, Christopher Hitchens. Andrew Breitbart, thanks for joining us tonight.